The Mega Pre is so important. Now, the reason we designed Mega Pre to begin with is because oligosaccharides, which are the types of prebiotic fibers that are in Mega Pre, oligosaccharides are critically important for uh, microbiome diversity and the maintenance of keystone species, right? So Megaspore brings about the diversity and, and increases the growth of keystone species. The prebiotic will stabilize it and enhance it and keep driving those positive features of the microbiome. Now, why is that? Why are these oligosaccharides capable of doing that? Well, the reason is because the way we are designed as, a, as an organism is that our microbiome, the especially the important, healthy, beneficial part of the microbiome, was originally established in our gut from oligosaccharides, right? So mother's milk, uh, oh, breast milk, right? Okay. Breast milk is the only mammalian food that's been perfected by evolution, right? It's been, you know, this arguable homo sapiens, I don't know, about a million, let's say a million years we've been around, right? And the way in the form that we, we see ourselves, it's probably less than that, but uh, somewhere close to, to around that million years. We've been, well, not we, but the, but, but, uh, you know, mothers and, and uh, childbearing uh, part of our population have been producing milk since that time. And through the course of evolution, that food has been perfected, right? It still exists today when women give birth to babies, the vast majority of women still produce milk because that's part of our DNA. That's part of our evolutionary development. And that milk Right. There's a huge component of that milk that are purely prebiotic oligosaccharides. Right. There are upwards of 200 different types of prebiotics in mother's milk. None of those prebiotics can the baby actually digest for energy and food. It's all there purely to seed the microbes. Wow. That is so interesting. I didn't know that. It's so fascinating. Right. And so when you look at when you look at mother's milk, it gives you an understanding of what the most important foundations are for health and nutrition and wellness, right? You look at the, the uh, amino acid profile, for example, there's a, there's a thing in the world of amino acids called the PDCAS score. PDCAS score is the, um, a scoring system to illustrate the completeness of a protein, right? Uh, now, no, no natural protein source has a complete profile whether you're getting dairy protein or pea protein or rice protein, they all have a PDCAS score that's that's below one, one being the perfect profile, and one is based on mother's milk, right? Mm. So mother's milk is the perfect amino acid profile for human function. Mother's milk, almost 30% of it are prebiotics. So if you think about the 30% of your diet are, are those prebiotics, are you consuming 30% of your of your food volume in prebiotics? Probably not, right? Mother's milk also has lots of healthy fat in it, right? Uh, mother's milk has some sugar, but very little. And so when you look at mother's milk, you know, you start to understand all of the components that are critically important for basic human nutrition. And so the prebiotic component is really important. Your microbiome was established based on oligosaccharides. Now, oligosaccharides are different than other things that are considered prebiotics like psyllium husk and, you know, soluble, insoluble fibers, right? So fibers um, are complex carbohydrates. Um, they're typically kind of linear chains of carbohydrates. We don't have the enzymes to break them. So we don't normally digest them in our small intestine. They go down as kind of roughage into the large bowel. And then there's lots and lots of different microbes that can break them down and utilize them for food, right? Oligosaccharides are that next level of specialization, right? Oligosaccharides are also prebiotics. They're also fibers um, in a sense, but they, they tend to be much more complex in their structure with many more carbon bonds that are complex and that require very specialized enzymes to break them down. So when prebiotics enter the system, of course, the human can't break them down. They make their way into the large bowel where only specialized bacteria can actually utilize them. The majority of bacteria don't utilize them well. Very specialized bacteria utilize them. So prebiotics are targeted nutritional therapy for beneficial bacteria. Mm. General fiber can be consumed by bad bacteria as well as can be consumed by good bacteria. 